hey guys welcome back to my channel i am Judith. if you're new here please don't make it your last by clicking the subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for joining me today so i've created everything you need for a full face makeup whether you're a beginner or not and how to use them first thing you need to do is to prep your skin according to your skin type so obviously you should own a skincare product to so prep your skin according to your skin type applying your makeup with without a primer on is an error so you need a good primer on your skin because your primer serves as a base for your foundation if you have an oily skin you need a mattifying primer just like the becca primer if you have a dry skin you need a non-mattifying primer just like the omari gold hydrating primer for a good makeup application you need a very good makeup tools to apply your product so you need a beauty sponge in your makeup kit the vicabel beauty sponge is a very good one i like this because it's soft and easy to blend in your product next you need a very good brush the picabel brush set is a very good one because it has all the brushes you need both for your face and your eye work it has the powder brush which is very easy for, to apply your powder and it's fluffy it has the foundation brush this can help you apply your foundation properly it has like this fluffy brush this can help you apply your highlighter apply your blush properly foundation is a very important makeup product you need to own in your kit and the foundation comes in different form we have the liquid foundation such as the Maybelline fits me foundation which i'm going to be using on my skin because i have an oily skin we have the stick foundation this is the black opal stick foundation this is oil based so it works better for a dry skin and this is the cream to powder foundation it's like a stick foundation but it's in a powder form when you apply it, it just dries out and turns into a powder. Just get a foundation that works for your skin type. If you have an oily skin, it's better you opt for the liquid foundation that is water-based. If you have a dry skin, the stick foundation works perfectly well because it's oil-based. And if you have an oily skin, the cream to powder foundation works perfectly well too. So if you have a combination skin, there are foundations that are not dry and not matte and not oily at the same time. So you just get whichever one that works for you. When applying foundation, you want to start a small amount to avoid cakiness because once you apply so much product, it's difficult to blend and it tends to cake. Concealer is a very important makeup product. It's used for highlighting. You need concealer to highlight your face. It's very important. It's not something you can skip in your makeup bag. There are different kinds of concealer, different brands, different good concealer. There is a color corrector which is used for cancelling discoloration. And there is the other concealer which is used for highlighting such as the Younger Beauty Concealer and the number and beauty concealer there are options you can pick from just choose what suits your skin and your undertone so in this video i'll be using the noban beauty concealer this is another product you need in your makeup kit it's a hydrating makeup spray it's very important for hydrating your skin so you just need that in your kit to help you blend out your base so i'm just going to spray this on my beauty sponge to help me blend out my base properly so we're going to go ahead to contour the skin. Contour comes in different types. There's cream contour, there's liquid contour, and there's powder contour. So just opt for what works for you and which is better for you. But in this video, I'm going to be contouring my face with the liquid contour. And for that, I'm going to be using my foundation. This is the Maybelline Fits Me Foundation in 370. This is like three shades or four shades darker than I am. So if you have a dry skin, a cream contour works better because it's oil infused. Or if you have an oily skin, a powder contour or a liquid contour works better for you. So which way you prefer, just use what works for your skin type. This is best blend with a beauty sponge or a brush. Just apply it in little quantities so when you're blending, it's easy for you to blend out. So next, we're going to blush the face to add color and warmth to the face. So you need a blush in your makeup kit, very important. And this is where it gets interesting, yeah? Because the blush comes in two different types. There's a powder blush and the cream blush. And for your powder blush, you can use your eyeshadow as a blush. So you can actually get a blush palette but if you don't want to or don't have a blush palette you can use your eyeshadow palette or if you want to use a cream blush and you don't have like a cream blush you can use your lipstick or your color corrector as the blush i'm going to be using my lip eye magic lip palette this is the shade this is the shade i'll be using to blush my face so i'll be using this brush from pika bell to blush my face the pika bell brush like i said earlier has everything you need so i'm just going to place this on my skin and blend that in just make sure it sits into my skin you can go ahead to set each step of your makeup especially if you're doing your skin first so this is it it just sits into your skin and gives it a natural finish 
you need a setting powder it can be a normal setting powder or a translucent powder so the Nuban beauty alabaster is one of my favorite translucent powder to use there is other one you can use the laura mercier a very nice a chanel very perfect for you so just make sure you're using a setting powder that is your shade but before i set under my eyes with a setting powder i like going into my under eyes with the pressed powder first before setting with a setting powder when setting your under eyes, you can use a beauty sponge or a brush. I prefer using my beauty sponge most of the time because it just helps me seal the product into my skin. I don't like baking, so I just like to press the product into my under eyes. It just gives me a flawless finish and my under eyes won't be left looking heavy. Another very important product you need in your makeup kit is the pressed powder. When opting for a pressed powder, it's better to use a powder palette like the Lavida Amanda powder palette this is one of my favorite powder palettes because it, you have options like you have a shade to contour with you have a shade to set under your eyes with. you have a shade to use to set all over your face and when applying just make sure you take little quantity because you don't want to pack product on your skin and make your makeup heavy or make your makeup crease the next you need a brow pencil in your makeup kit very important somehow i ran out of my brow pencil so i'll be using this tiny one that is remaining if you are like me that love your brows natural just outline your brows and fill it in with a very light stroke but if you love your brows really defined then you can do that but if you want to really define your brows then it's better to do your brows before your skin work that way you have your brows really defined and popping but me i love my brows looking really natural like this i'm very comfortable and i'm okay with my brows in your makeup kit you need an eyeshadow base and an eyeshadow so you can use a base such as a tyra eyeshadow base and for your eyeshadow you can just get like one eyeshadow palette this is the beauty glazed color studio eyeshadow palette so you can get like just one eyeshadow palette as a beginner this really works you can use this to create as much look as you want so I'm just going to start off my base on my eyelid and make sure my base is well blended before going into it with my eyeshadow. You need a gel liner in your makeup kit and not just a gel liner, a good gel liner. You can opt for a pencil or a gel liner, whichever one you prefer that works for you, but I prefer a gel liner. So you can get as many colors as you want, but black is really essential. So this is a must have in your kit. So I'm just warming up the face more with a powder blush. You need a good setting spray and a finishing spray in your makeup kit such as the Nuban Beauty setting spray this is a very good setting spray it just brings your makeup together and make it into one layer when you're spraying just take it far away from me and just spray it on your face like this you need a good highlighter in your kit and highlighter comes in different form it comes some come like a dust a pressed highlighter some come single and some come in a palette such as the Tehila cosmetic highlighter stroke blush palette so this I prefer this because it just comes with a blush and I like the undertone it has so this is what i'll be using apply on my cheekbone and just take the excesses to my brow bone not so much because if you take so much there it's going to look funny so it's just the excesses that i take to my brow bone you need a good mascara in your kit just like the zara cosmetic mascara whether you're using a false lashes or not which i'm not going to be using in this video but you need a good mascara to add volume to your natural lashes so i'm just going to apply that on my upper lashes and my lower lashes in your makeup kit you need a lipstick a lip liner a lip gloss everything for your lip so i prefer to use my lip palette this just gives me everything i want i'm a nude lip girl so this does it for me all the time so i'm going to use the brown in the palette to line my lip and the nude or the pink in the palette inside my lip i hope this video was really insightful please give this video a very big thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel if you are yet to and i will see you guys in my next video bye